Oh, okay, now I'm going to show you uh, uh, a nice experiment. A nice experiment I was running for a company when I was trying to explain chaos engineering and what do we mean when we're deleting pods and containers. So to do that, I have a Kubernetes a mini queue instance, and then also Minecraft, a Minecraft server running on a Docker container as well, which is connected to to Kubernetes uh, using the queue proxy. And then we're going to be able to visualize these, you know, pods and containers into a kind of a virtual reality world. So let's jump in into my mini cube. So this is my my environment. This is my kind of my namespace, the default namespace. As you can see, I can just move around, move around. Um, so we don't have anything. It's going to be great if we can start running some applications. So how to do that? Just go to the command line in inside a mini, a Minecraft, and I run some commands like kubectl run my web app and based on the image nginx, and let's see what happens. Oh, perfect. So I have my new container running my pod. And as you can see, I'm going to sit here, I can see the name. And um, I also have I also have like some buttons inside. And uh, what this is what this is doing is is talking with Kubernetes is saying by default I want one replica. Um, and then Kubernetes is going to provide this. Uh, it's going to match the desired state. I also can scale this application by saying scale my deployment with a web app. And let's say I want to run two replicas. So, perfect. Now I have two replicas. Kubernetes is saying like, oh, he wants two replicas. He's going to get another one for me. What happens if I delete a pod? You know, and I can do this from from here, from Minecraft. So I can jump in inside. I can click this button, and it's going to delete the pod. And as you can see, I already have another one here, and this one is going to disappear. So again, this is Kubernetes checking always that it needs to match with the desired state. And because I say I want to have two replicas, it's going to be creating new pods. So if I delete this one as well, another one is going to be provisioned here. See? Perfect. So now I'm going to delete the deployment. Deployment uh, web app. And both of them should disappear. My environment is going to be empty again. Okay, perfect. So let's try something else. Let's try running application, but also I'm going to say replicas to let's say four. And I'm going to the, add a label which is going to up meetup, you know. So this is just to, to, to tag my, my application. So let's see what happens. It's creating four pods, containers, which are my application, and they're running here. So what I'm going to do next is I will jump to a terminal to deploy a Chaos Queue um, Helm chart to see how Chaos Queue deletes these pods. So I'm going to jump into my terminal, which is here. I already have downloaded my Helm chart. Um, just the values that I'm using at the moment is saying like I want to delete the pods every 10 seconds. It's going to be looking for my um, my labels to filter it and using just in the namespace default in the default namespace. You have more configurations to, that you can in implement here. Like if you want to test without killing any pod, it's, it's going to log what we do. Uh, and also the time zone, you can define, uh, if you want to run this in production, you can define which days and at what time. And this is about the roles to have permission to delete pods. So let's deploy this very simple. I'm going to put a name of chaos. Perfect. So this is deployed. As you can see, this is deployed 
here. Oh, sorry. Chaos Cube is there. And we're going to be able to see both um, disappearing. See? So that one disappeared, but another one was corrected. And in 10 seconds, another one is going to be deleted, and a new one is going to be added. Always matching four points for the web application. Okay. We have four here and one for the Chaos Cube multi. You know, so this is pretty much how it works. And I think like by using a virtual reality or a game, it's very easy easier to introduce people to, into this technology. Um, let's try something else. So we're going to scale my application to have 30 replicas. And we'll see what happens. So it's creating new pods. You can see it moving. And in Minecraft, I like that you can also fly. And as you can see, this is my environment right now. That's why running a couple of commands, my environment is scaling. If I want to scale down, this is going to be replicas two. And few millimeters is going to start deleting the pods to match my new design state. And this is pretty much the demo for today. Thank you very much.